<laughs> Here's a good question for you, Gene. Gene, are you ready to trade in your Storm Audio for Trimov <laughs> since you came back from the Audio Vice Workshop? No, I'm not ready to do that. I, I really did enjoy the Trinov demo. Um, I do have faith at Storm, especially with the new DRAC spatial base management. Trinov doesn't even have that. And I'm going to be testing it in around November time. So Wait, what I'm is really that? excited Wait, about that. How does that, that work? How is that supposed to work? Basically, it uses every speaker in your setup. So this is perfect for you because you like running full range speakers. It uses every speaker in the setup to, to balance out the base for every seat. So hmm. if a surround speaker could play down to 50 Hertz, yeah. it'll apply whatever bass it needs to, to fix a null at whatever seat when it oh, sums the bass really? from all the channels. So there's no more, if this works as they claim, and Matthew Pose claims it does because he's known about this for a while. If it oh. works as it's claimed, you won't have to do mono summing of bass anymore. It completely yeah. changes the way we calibrate audio if it works. Does that matter? Like say, Let's say, um, doesn't matter what if what your speakers, how capable your speakers are, like the quality of bass. Does it does that even take in? Oh yeah, I mean you don't want to overdrive. Well. You don't want to overdrive a speaker. I mean if you're gonna run if you're gonna run bass through any of your surround speakers, it better have good output capability at least down mm -hmm. to. But even if it goes only down to eighty hertz, you're still doing bass correction from critical eighty to five hundred hertz range. That's very difficult for to deal with with just four subwoofers because the subwoofers only play eighty hertz and below. And really, the only way you're going to get balance in your base in the room above that is with passive room treatments. You yeah. still need that to some extent. But yeah. the fact that you now have these speakers to help control that is very promising. Maybe couldn't you, you couldn't you do that manually, though? No, because it's not. I mean, if you're just listening to a two channel source, how is it going to send that information to the other speakers? You know. So you're saying it does it on the fly? It does it when it during the calibration, like it, it'll measure yeah. every speaker, it'll phase align everything. I don't know all the innards of it because it's so new, but it's it's called a, it's a process called MEMO, M E M O, mm -hmm. and it's just it's an algorithm that that they've come up with in order to do this kind of correction. Interesting. I'm gonna have to ask the Trinov guys. Oh, Trinov is Trinov's behind, man. Trinov's gonna behind. Have to ask him. They're gonna tell me you could do it manually. Watch. I'm, I'm pretty no, sure they're not because say. they're working on this. I, I talked oh, to yeah? John about yeah, they work. I oh. talked about it at Audio Vice, yeah, but they're behind. Oh, okay, they're behind. Mm. Well, they're behind. let's see who comes out with the first. Let's see who comes out with the first. <laughs> we will. <laughs> I mean, DRAC is a you know they've already announced it. Trinov hasn't, so score one to DRAC. How accurate would it be though? Because they're measuring in the three D plane. How accurate could it be out of just one little microphone aerial? I'm sure you're going to do like a series of measurements and height and stuff like that. Not just that one mic calibration. Yeah. I, I don't know the process, so I don't want to comment on it. But you will have to have some uh, decent speakers though. None of these little satellite speakers. Uh, obviously. Yeah. And I, yeah. and I don't think this will be, a, I don't think this will be available on inexpensive pro yeah. receivers or processes that support DRAC. I think this is going to be reserved for like the $20,000 storm processes. I'm not even sure if sound United's going to get, the spatial D rack. Damn. Compliment or not. Now. Yeah, that sounds interesting. Because it's a I lot of profit. You, yeah, you sent me that link. It was like 30 pages. I was like, Dean, Dean I'm not reading this. Come on. <laughs> you just break it down. <laughs> you don't want to read shit. I, I get you, man. You have worse ADD than I do. 